My next guest is on the phone. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I've been waiting on this young lady. She's a, she's a star. She's a star. Let me give you the intro so we can get rolling right quick. Because I got two breaks with her. My next guest is a serial entrepreneur. One who comes up. Let me tell you what a serial entrepreneur is. One who comes up with an idea, gets the company started, then goes on, then goes on to a new venture. People say that about me. You know, I, I just, not that I'm bored. I just feel that this, this if you do it right, why, why should you stay focused on that if you have something else that excites you that is in your mind to create? She currently has three restaurants, three restaurants in full operations, a spa salon, a salon spa, and suite located in the heart of downtown, a popular female dating app called Girl Talk. There's no stopping this powerful and influential businesswoman. We have seen many advances of how black women are rising to the top in industries such as music, entertainment, film, and thanks to my guest, hospitality. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the owner of Dillard Hospitality Group, Snoop. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be on this call right now. Come on now. I'm going to tell you something, Snoop. Um, you are a version of me. Because you don't know how to sleep, girl. You don't know how Not to sleep. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really, but you know, I don't, I don't consider, when people ask me all the time, uh, how many hours I get, you know, I just tell people I go to bed when I feel like going to bed, but I do wake up at the same time every day. And right, right. You know, that's key because a lot of people think you can just drift your times. You know, you, I get mm-hmm. up. No, you can't talk about that whole process of a day in the life of you. And then I want to talk about uh, your, your foundation. And cause I got you for two breaks. Cause I want to talk about a number of things. I also want to talk about the money making Mondays that you do as well. So let's talk about a, a day in your life, Snoop. A day in my life. So um, generally, so, you know, as we know, today is Monday. So normally on Mondays, I meet with all of my GMs and my higher ups and um, just make sure we're on the same page, talk about any issues, any to-dos, um, anything we want to improve on. And then I kind of make my rounds and check on the businesses. And so um, throughout the week, um, I kind of, I, I, I really, I'm very organized and I kind of run myself on a set schedule. So mm-hmm. That's what I do on Mondays. Tuesdays, I normally get out and look at real estate properties mm-hmm. and um, take care of a couple of other little meetings. Sometimes I may do business consultations mm-hmm. um, on Tuesdays. Um, on Wednesdays, I normally work on my app. And then Friday is generally kind of my personal day. Thursday is kind of a cleanup day. <laughs> um, just going to the businesses and making sure that they're executing the way that we need to be. Right. Now, let me ask you, do you have a driver or are you, are you just driving yourself? I'm driving myself, unfortunately. I need one. Who's Girl, I'm, who's trying, I'm trying to figure out how you're doing all this because I know you, 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 your hands free driving, correct? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know how it is. You know, I got a phone call coming through and... See, I'm, 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 just take care of and all I'm just trying to keep you around, okay? Because, see, I know right. you're doing all them little tricks. Moved. You're looking off and dialing with your finger, calling, uh, yeah, calling. We can't, we can't have that. I've learned my lessons from that in the past. <laughs> see what I'm saying? We got to stop all that. That's what I'm saying. We're going we gonna, to, we, first of all, me and you going to meet. I'm going to, girl, look at here. You need to set aside just a little money for somebody just to drive you around during the day. Because, you ain't lying. You know, that's actually one of my goals. I said next year for my birthday, I'm going to go ahead and, and get that going. Because you have to, because of the fact that, you know, because I know because of, I, I multitask. And, I, you know, I, I've done every trick, bad trick move driving that you can do. And I, and I know only, uh, Lord, I, uh, how many prayers and save me. Somebody out there, I would tell people when they say a prayer to me, I said keep praying. Because Rishon needs all them, <laughs> them additional prayers out there because I do so many stupid things when I drive. Because you try to think you don't really value what's really you know, how much impact you have, and if you gone, how much impact it would, it, it, uh, how much it would affect so many different people, and that's what you're doing. And I want Absolutely. in this first break, I want to talk about your imp, your foundation. Let's talk about that first, and then we get in the next. I want to bring up money making conversation, money making money making Mondays that you do on your Instagram account at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday. <laughs> So let's talk about this. Absolutely. The- so uh, my, my foundation, Her Impact, um, it's a foundation that I've recently started within the past couple of months. Um, we're in the process of kind of getting our board of directors together. Mm-hmm. Um, but the basis of the foundation is to um, help other women and young girls 
um, become entrepreneurs and just put them in a, a place of financial literacy um, and just kind of help impact the world um, in any and every way I can. And so um, we do this through having a series of charity foundations throughout the year. Uh, we do four to six charity foundations that include um, Pamper Drive. Um, they include um, France Giving, mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. is uh, basically feeding uh, me and a group of my friends coming together, feeding as many people as we can. Oh. Uh, uh, Snoop, um, I'm a, Snoop we're going to carry this to the next break. Okay, we're going to carry this. I apologize. Money Making Conversation. Be right back. I'm a girl, Snoop. Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald. You're listening to Money Making Conversation. On the phone is Who is Snoop? That's right. You go to whoissnoop.com or at whoissnoop. Then you will find out a lot about this incredible interview that I'm having with Snoop, who's on the phone right now. Snoop, you were um, telling me about Her Impact Foundation. I apologize. Time ran out, but I wanted you to complete that thought because I feel that that's important as an entrepreneur, as a successful person, that you do or uh, you understand the value of giving back and the importance of giving back. Give us more detail oh, yeah, about absolutely. Her Impact Foundation. Absolutely. Talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a little, you know, it's a little easier to always keep that in mind at the forefront, you know, when you come from humble beginnings. So, uh, but as I was saying, you know, Her Impact Foundation is just a, uh, a foundation that um, I started to be able to um, give back to the community um, and just make sure that I'm always keeping um, charity and others, you know, at the forefront, you know, um, of what it is that I do. Mm -hmm. Now, now, with that being said, on Mondays, I do money making conversations. Then you do money making Mondays on your Instagram account. That's why I know it's synergy. We're going to talk one day. OK, so tell us how did money making Mondays start on your Instagram account? Yes, so Money Making Mondays, um, I started that maybe about four years ago, mm -hmm. um, and pretty much what it is, is it's a platform, a free platform for me to be able to give um, advice to other entrepreneurs or, or aspiring entrepreneurs, um, and so what I do is um, it's a lot of storytelling, telling my story and how it is that I get to where I am today. Um, and it's an open platform. I do it live on my Instagram um, and answer various questions, you know, from other individuals out there. So mm -hmm. um, it gives gives people kind of that one-on-one -on -one time and access to me. Right. Because, see, that's why I started Money Making Conversation started on my Facebook page. And so oh, nice, uh, when nice. I was managing Steve Harvey, you know, people are always coming up to me. Can you mentor me? Can you can I call uh -huh. you? You know the same. That's why she you knows same things happen to her all the time. You know, can you can you, can I get your number? Can I get your email? Address? Hold up, hold up. Money making Mondays, okay, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Instagram account at Who Is Snoop. You can you can get online and then you can follow me and then you can ask me any questions. I mentor you through my Instagram account. That's what she's saying. And then she get then other people have similar questions, and she can answer thousands of people or hundreds of people at the same time from an expert standpoint, because generally Absolutely. people have the same question. They have the same, how do I start a business? How do I avoid tax? Or how do I employ all, all the things that you, the people need to know. But the fact that you're taking time, because I know that's why I started this radio show, because I know on my Instagram account, I was just doing, I wasn't even doing it live. See, she's smart. She's doing it live when she can talk. I was doing a chat. So, you know, I was chatting. Somebody asked me a question. They want to know another question. Another, another, they're about six, eight questions down before I wrapped up with that one person. So I know uh -huh. the value of what you're talking about. But again, it's still about giving information to people, not charging for the information. You know, taking advantage of the blessings given to you, you're returning it with this information portal called Money Making Mondays. Absolutely. <laughs> now let's talk about Dillard Hospitality Group. That's you. How did it come yeah. about? You know, I said earlier, you're a serial entrepreneur. Talk about different business businesses that you have under that umbrella. Yeah, so I've been an um, entrepreneur uh, for the past 11 years, ever since I was about, um, I went to Vanderbilt at age 16, graduated at 20, and um, I've been owning businesses ever since about a year after college. And so um, once I kind of had my trial and error and, you know, some of those failures and actually started having successful businesses, 
um, I decided to kind of put them under this um, umbrella, um, Dillard Hospitality, you know, for all of my restaurant ventures. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've been here, I've been here in Atlanta for about 10 years. I uh, started a party bus company when I first moved here. You said party bus, um, a party bus company. Uh-huh. Now, yeah, what, what exactly was that? Bus, party bus king. <laughs> what, what exactly was that? Um, if I owned party buses, and so people could rent the buses to take mm-hmm. them out. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it, it was a really big thing, you know, back when I was doing it. Right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so um, I was doing it, and I was doing it for about two or three years. It was it was fairly successful, you know. We uh, profited, you know, over six figures a year and things of that nature. But it wasn't something that I loved and something right. that I really enjoyed. Right. Um, and, and what I really love and enjoy doing is the actual the restaurants and the lounges. And so... Um, I saved my money from that business and was able to open up, um, which was my second lounge. I opened up my first lounge when I was 24, but um, my second one, which ended up being my first successful one, was the Hookah Hideaway, Mm -hmm. which I owned right off of Auburn Avenue um, on Jesse Hill Jr. Drive. And Mm -hmm. so I started that business um, a couple years into that venture. I was... um, able to connect with the rapper 2 Chains. Um, I had wanted to do a second location, mm-hmm. um, and the business people kind of linked us together. Felt like we would be a good good pair to do business with each other, um, and they were right. right. And, um, you know, we, we got together, and we did Escobar Restaurant and Tapas. Uh, we later opened Members Only Lounge, which is right downtown as well. Um, and then I also own Crave um, solely by myself. It's a restaurant venture that I just opened a couple weeks ago at Little Five Points. Um, no, no, and then, as you no, know, no, I'm no, no, Snoop, really Snoop, 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 you too much now. You know, because <laughs> you're not even stressing in this. I'm, I'm tired listening to you, Snoop. But somewhere <laughs> along the line, I got to stop you and say, first of all, you know, I went to Vanderbilt when I was 16, graduated when I was 20. <laughs> Okay, she just casually. I went to I went to University of Houston when I was eighteen. I graduated when I was twenty five. Okay, I'm just letting you know who you're talking to. Okay, I got a math degree, but I'm gonna just slow you down now. I'm proud of my little degree, but I wasn't sixteen and twenty. Okay, and then at twenty four, I opened my next restaurant, and then I had the party kings. We're making six figures, but I wasn't happy with the way I was making the six figures. Then I got in business with a rapper. We hit it right off, you know. Hit it. So now we got the we got this, we got that. Then crazy, I decided to do that on my own. Now let's talk about that. Let's talk about this. Thing. You gonna have a driver next year because I want you to live to you old and great. Yeah, gray. I need one. It's about that time. Okay, <laughs> Rashawn McDonald telling you right now. You never met me before, but you know I love you, girl, and I want you because you're doing stuff for the community. You're doing stuff for yourself. You're showing women a form of empowerment that you can do business, multi levels of business in the hospitality world. Okay which we know is a male-dominated world, okay? And so, and being successful. So, so I jokingly just stopped you so you can hear yourself because people like me, like you, have a general tendency to just keep doing stuff but don't understand that what you're doing is not normal. Mm-hmm. You know that. You know what you're doing is not normal, correct? Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> just and I think what you said is so true because a lot of times I think when you're a, super motivated person you always doing a lot of things you know it, it, it definitely is really important to stop and smell your own roses you know what i mean and you know kind of give yourself that pat pat on the back you know you do a lot you do. of times we forget to do that you know you do and i, and I think that's important uh, that's why i developed this show because it was about being having a balanced life you know i didn't i wasn't really understanding that being able to because i was just on to the next on to the next on to the next and sometimes you get nervous Sometimes that nervousness drives you to the next because you don't know if you miss out on an opportunity, will it come around? But you know, your yeah. brand is such snoop that you know. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at now. You know, now it's just it's just it's protecting you. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's allowing right. you to sit back and and like I said, and you have the right to sit in the throne. You have the right to sit in the throne and understand these are the people who allow me to be great. And mm-hmm. because you've done the work, the, the, you got you got the resume to justify that you are great. And so when I look at this, now tell us about the Crave restaurant here. It said Little Five Points. Tell us about that menu. Yeah, so Crave restaurant, it has a really unique concept behind it. What I did is I I looked at the phenomenon that we have here in Atlanta, which is, um, you know, most of the people here are not from here. You know, you've got a melting pot of people that come from different 
cities and countries and things of that nature. And so um, a lot of us that aren't born and raised here in Atlanta, we, we come from other cities and we've right. got signature dishes and things of that nature that these other cities are known for that a lot of people crave and miss, you know, once oh. they miss, once they move here. So mm-hmm. um, I kind of played off of that and, um, we serve things like Maine lobster rolls, Philly cheese steaks, Detroit Coney Island, uh, Chicago guy rolls. So I took items from popular cities around the country um, and just put them all together on a menu. And so, you know, you've got people coming in from Ohio that are used to their five-point skyline chili, mm-hmm. um, and they can they can literally get it right there at Crave, and it tastes, you know, just like it used to taste back at home. So... Uh, that's the unique concept that I came up with at Crave. And like I said, we've been open for about two weeks. We'll be having our grand opening uh, the end of this month. Okay, 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 cool. No, no, no. You know I got to I'm a foodie now. Now, Snoop, <laughs> if you don't let me, if I'm not there for it, because, you know, I do this thing called Rushan Eats. This is my little, uh, I put it on my, I, I got almost a million followers, and I, I, I post popular restaurants, popular eateries that I go to. And, you know, you, you my girl, so I, I, I got to be there to support you. Because of the oh, fact that definitely. this we menu, we gotta have you come out and try some of this good food we yeah, got over come on at here. Crave. Come on. Let's let's do it before you know, because you do like a little a little eatery thing, right? Where we bring people in and sample. Yes, uh, we do. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll be doing that with the media. Um, I think we've got that scheduled for the 18th. I've got to check with uh, okay, cool. with the team, but yes, we definitely will be doing that, and we'll make sure that you're there. Okay, make sure you tell me what time I have a flight out on the okay. 18th that night, but I will move it. I will move it for okay. you. Okay. Because I oh, know. Well, thank you. I'm I appreciate you, that. I'm telling you something. Because I just love what you do. I love your brand. I love what you're trying to do. I, I know next time I, if you have time, I know you're busy. You know, if you can come in the studio, we can talk long because you have such a fascinating Absolutely. story. You have such a Absolutely. great, you're a great uh, position of where you, where you are in life. And you, first of all, more important, you have a sense of humor, which I love the most. Um, <laughs> she is called Snoop. Who is Snoop? Tonight on her Instagram, you can find out. 8 p.m. Go to at who at who is Snoop and you can see her live giving you free advice on how to be successful. Snoop, thanks for coming on my show. And I want